Okay, uh, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the support v4 package in uh, a Xamarin Android application. So let's just quickly start out here and create a project. I'll just create an Android application um, and call it support fun. So the first thing we want to do when that project has been created is to add a reference to the mono android support v4 package right here so let's do that and press ok and with that done let's just make this smaller so we have some more we can see more of the editor so let's just move out a lot of this stuff we'll still need the button and i'll show you why in a minute so let's go to the main layout in here uh, i want to create a frame layout which we will use um, as a placeholder for the fragment so inside the activity we will um, uh, take a fragment and replace that placeholder and when we click click the button we will replace it with another fragment so we'll keep the button here so let's add a frame layout Android ID and let's call it content and then we want to have it fill the rest so it needs to be zero pixels here <coughs> sorry and Android layout weight set to one that makes it fill the the rest of the layout Okay, with that done, we need to create a couple of layouts for the two fragments, so let's call it frag1. And let's make the background green or something. Uh, Okay, there are no predefined colors here. Or let's just pick one. So A, B, C, D, E, F. That should be okay. So that's a blue color. And then we'll add a text box, text view with a large font saying fragment one. Cool. So now we've got that. I'll just copy this and let's create another one and call it fragment two. Do it like this and let's make it another color. I don't know which one it is. It's red. Okay, cool and close that so we also need a couple of fragments here which inflates those views so let's just create them inside this activity so public class fragment one inherits from fragments and import that import android support before app fragment we want to use that it's just a using statement up here and inside of that, we want to override the on create view. And we want to return the inflated view for fragment one. So we use that P0 uh, argument, which, uh, which is the inflator. And we pass it the resource layout frag one. And we, want, we don't want to touch to the root. Let's just uh, rebuild the project so it can resolve the IDs like that. And let's just make the other one as well and call it fragment two and use frag two here. So initially when the view loads, we want to use the support fragments manager. Uh, why is oh we want 
want a fragment activity. So we want to use the support fragment manager and we want to start a transaction and we want to replace resource ID content with fragment one. And we need to commit that. And then we, when we click the button, we want to replace that with fragment two. And now Rushabla is complaining. Let's just fix that to expression like that. So now we should be ready to run the application. Let's just clean up this mess and press start. I've already started an emulator, so this should be pretty quick. And the app starts. So as you see, there's the, the entire bottom, bottom part of the the main view is fragment one now, and when we click the button, it should turn over to fragment two, and that's practically it. Now you have fr um, support V2 uh, enabled your application. So that's practically it. So uh, enjoy and um, see you around the community. Bye.